Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Ursha, and this week we are discussing the upcoming Halloween TV series. Uh, yes, Michael Myers will live on. <laughs> uh, and the franchise will live on in the form of a television series, which may branch off into kind of a shared universe in film as well. Uh, so it might be kind of a Marvel Universe kind of thing. <laughs> you just can't keep a good man down, or a good boogeyman for that matter. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, the makers of this series uh, had this to say. They did release a statement about the upcoming series, and it reads as follows. The foundation of it is the original film the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, or even in a number of them. It's a creative reset completely, and it's going back to the original film, as opposed to spinning out any of the more recent film adaptions. Helwig also notes we're on a fast track. It's a big priority for us. We've had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people, and I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. We're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. So yeah, they are on the fast track, and this is going to be happening, folks. Uh, so how do I feel about it, um, given the news? Uh, I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed, because uh, I don't understand why we're going back to the original film again, you know. Uh, it's already, we've already done that, you know, we've already had a remake, we already had the trilogy recently that only followed the first film. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't really know what to think, uh. I would have thought they could have came up with something a little more creative than that. You know, I thought we could have been able to move forward to the future in present day, modern times, going forward with a Michael Myers in a setting that doesn't have all the characters that we have already seen in the franchise, you know. But, anyway, I, I am optimistic, you know. Um, I... I was thinking about it earlier, if they could make the film actually take place in the 70s, when the original film happened in 1978. Um, that could be interesting if they leave it at that setting like they did uh, in Halloween Kills during the opening when they did the flashback scenes to 1978. If they could make it like that, it could possibly be interesting, you know. <laughs> Um, and yeah, hopefully they would focus on other characters aside from Laurie Strode, uh, which I don't know how you can avoid Laurie Strode being that if you're only following the original film, she was such an important part of the original film. How are you going to ignore her completely? You know? There has to be some of her in there. And uh, obviously there has to be Dr. Loomis, uh, which... That part I am excited about. I definitely want to see Dr. Loomis again. Uh, and I hope they get the right person to play him. And I hope it's a faithful adaption of Dr. Loomis. Um, what little we saw of the guy that played him in the Halloween Kills was pretty good. It was kind of a faithful adaption of him. But uh, yeah, I want to see someone who's close to the Donald Pleasance type uh, character. I mean, there's no replacing Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis whatsoever, but um, you could have a solid actor play him. Like, for example, Paul Giamatti, such a great actor. I think he would do a great job with Dr. Loomis and just kind of let him make it his own, but at the same time have some similarities with the character too. But yeah, I definitely want to see Dr. Loomis back. Um, when you think about it, who else could they really focus on? They had Lindsay in the recent uh, David Gordon Green trilogy. Although we didn't see a whole lot of her, we could maybe focus on her a little more. 
Um, you could focus on Annie, uh, even though we did kind of see her more in the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. Um, you could focus on Linda, <laughs> on Linda the ditzy blonde. <laughs> uh, totally. You could focus on uh, Sheriff Lee Brackett. You could focus on uh, maybe Deputy Hunt back then, you know. You could focus on him, even uh, who we saw in Halloween 2. We didn't really see him in the first movie, but obviously he was around at that time. So it'd be cool to see him in the series, too. Uh, yeah, I would like to see some more uh, Sheriff Lee Brackett, for sure. Uh, they could certainly delve into his family and, you know, I mean, we did kind of see him in the in the Rob Zombie movies as well. So it's like, who are you going to focus on that hasn't gotten any focus, really? It's tough. Um, you could certainly come up with new characters, um, which I would like to see as well. I'd like to see some interesting new characters in this world. Um... Because I'm sure Michael Myers had victims that we didn't see in the movie, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, there is still a lot they could do with it. Uh, take using only the original film. Uh, yeah, they could decide to keep the uh, brother-sister angle from Halloween 2, maybe. Uh, but then that would involve more Laurie, Laurie Strode, so, you know. People have said they want to move on from Laurie Strode. Many fans have said that, and uh, I do kind of agree with that. Um, although, you know, I wouldn't even be opposed to having a young Laurie Strode again. <laughs> I know I might be sacrificed for that, but um, I could see somebody else playing her, you know. Bright young actress. Uh, I'd like to see more of that style of Laurie Strode from the original movie, you know? Um, because Laurie Strode's character evolved so much throughout the franchise, it'd be interesting to go back to that original incarnation of Laurie, that style of Laurie, kind of just the, gir the girl next door, the kind of bookworm, a little bit nerdy, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing that again. You could put a lot of the high school element into the series as well, which we saw very little of in the original film, or throughout the whole series, really. Um, there's very little of the high school factor in there. Uh, say in the original film, you just see, you know, Laurie and Linda and Annie walking to school, and the one scene you see her walking out of the school... And then there's like that one little shot of Laurie in the classroom when she looks out the window and sees Michael across the street. Uh, other than that, there's very little of high school in the Halloween franchise, so they could certainly explore much more of that in the series. I mean, we saw a little bit of college in H2O, you know, very little bit of high school in the Halloween remake from Rob Zombie, but really hasn't been a whole lot of that, so you could certainly explore that quite a bit in, in the series. You could bring that old school, high school slasher vibe into the series, which could be cool, you know. Uh, a real retro style uh, high school slasher feel. Uh, I could get into that. Uh, so it's tough, you know, what do you guys want to see? I definitely, certainly want to see the John Carpenter style of direction in there with more suspense and, uh, yeah, like more of kind of Michael Myers in the background kind of thing. We don't need to see a whole lot of Michael Myers, really. Uh, just seeing, you know, a little glimpse of him, he might pop out on somebody. We don't need to see a whole lot of him, kind of. Make it a little bit more mysterious. Make Michael a little bit more mysterious, you know. Especially given in this world, all the other sequels don't exist. So, you just have that shape, that boogeyman that we saw in the original movie and nothing else, you know. We don't have that Halloween 2 Michael Myers where he got a little more extreme or a little bit more evil, a little bit more unstoppable. Um... Uh, he could just be this man that we really don't know a hell of a lot about, other than he has uh, killed a, 
killed his sister when he was six, and he escaped from the sanitarium. That's all we need to know, really, I guess. Just kind of keep him mysterious again, and that would that would be cool, you know. <laughs> uh, in the right hands, of course. Uh, yeah, definitely want to see some suspense brought back into uh, the franchise. Maybe make it a little more classic style horror instead of like a brutal slasher. Um, that's another thing, you know. Do you want it to be a brutal slasher type series, or do you want it to be kind of more like? the original film where we don't really see a whole lot of blood that's more implied um that's more focused on suspense and uh and the great score we definitely need to hear some some of that great classic score in there for sure you know um maybe have john carpenter do the score again that'd be great <laughs> if he agreed to it um maybe give another classic spin on that uh, old style um, maybe even have Alan Howarth uh, work on it too, who knows, who knows what they're gonna do, uh, but we, the only thing we do know is that it's going to take place from the original film, or maybe they even might do the original film again, like, remake it in the series, oh, kind of how, like, they did in the Bates Motel series, <laughs> Uh, it's, which started out as kind of a prequel, but eventually was a, ended up being a remake of the original Psycho. They could do something like that, you know. Have it be like a prequel leading up to. Uh, but then again, you know, do you want to see more of Michael Myers? Do you want to see, like, the child version of Michael Myers? More of that? Like we saw in Rob Zombie's Halloween? Uh, um... I just don't know, you know, it's, I'm optimistic, I'm certainly going to check it out, obviously I'm going to check it out, I'm a huge fan of Halloween, so, I'm still interested to see what they're going to do with it, but I'm a little disappointed at the same time, I thought they could have done a lot more, uh, they could have explored so much with the TV series, they could have revisited different timelines and continued the story from different timelines uh, throughout the franchise, it could have been so interesting, you know. Um, but they just decided to rehash the original, you know. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm certainly going to check it out. Uh, I hope they do a good job with it. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do with it. Uh, if they're going to have it take place in the 70s. Uh, because that could be interesting. Well, we might see a more of a style like the opening the Halloween Kills, which could be pretty cool, you know. Um, if that's the case, I'm all for it, but, uh, yeah, just a little bit disappointed, you know, I thought they could have did something a little more creative and ambitious, um, but it is what it is, you know, the franchise is going to continue, so yeah, I am kind of excited about that, um, let's just see, you know, let's just see, <laughs> let's give it a chance, I will give it a chance, absolutely, 100%. Uh, I will be there. I will be tuning in. Uh, let's see how it comes out. Thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. <laughs>
Check out the link in the description below this video.